Hey gang, it's Dr. Cherry. Today we are going to make a mandala. And a mandala is a drawing made within a circle. So you can draw a circle freehand or you can find things around your house that are round that you can trace. Maybe you even have a template of circles, different size circles that you can trace. Whatever you have works. So I think I'm going to use a combination of freehand and um, templates. So the first thing I want you to do is to draw a circle. So you can either trace something or use a template. Can you see that pencil mark? Okay. So you're going to draw a circle. Then with a ruler, you're going to draw a straight line through the middle from the top of your paper to the bottom of your paper. Now you're using pencil, so you'll be able to erase any lines that you don't need. Then I want you to do the same thing through the middle in the other direction. So you're making like a T actually that that line's a little high up. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Good thing we're using a pencil, huh? So I can erase this line. All right. So we erase that line. All right. Now I need you to draw an X. So right through the center. Let's draw an X. So we're cutting up our circle like a pizza pie. There we go. We got it like a pizza pie. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw more circles around that one circle. So let's see. I think this size is good. Yeah, that's a little bit bigger. Do I have anything bigger than that? Not really. So I'm going to do my best to draw it freehand without anything to trace. It's hard to draw circles freehand, but here we go. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And luckily we're just using pencil so I can erase if I need to. All right. And let's do one more. So it's not perfect, but it still works. There we go. All right. So now we're ready for the center of our mandala, right? Where these, all these lines connect, we are going to turn this into a lotus or a flower. And for all of our mandala spaces, we're just going to use plain and simple shapes. So, for this line, I'm just going to add a half a circle on each side. So a half circle on each side. And this will turn into a flower. A half circle on each side. There we go. So our first part of the mandala is finished. So I'm going to trace the lines I want to keep. I want to keep this line, so I'm tracing it. So now we have another level of our mandala. And remember, we're just using shapes for this mandala. So what would be a good shape to go next? You get to decide for your mandala, but I think I'm going to use ovals. So I'm going to try and put two ovals in each of these spaces. Now, some of these spaces are bigger because it's not quite symmetrical, but I'm going to do my best. Okay, so I'm putting ovals in each of these spaces. There we go. And I want to keep this line, so I'm going to trace it. 
Remember at the end, I can erase all the pencil lines I don't need. All right, so my next circle, I think I'm gonna try something different. I think I'm going to try triangles. So I'm gonna have the point of my triangle touch those ovals. Mm, let's see. So I'm gonna go around. Now you may find that it's easier to keep your paper still and just move your hand. For me, it's easier to move my paper, but it is up to you. Let's see. All right, so I didn't stay inside the line so good that time, but here I'm going to keep my line, trace the line I wanna keep. This one kind of went way up there. Okay. And I have one last circle that I want to fill in. What can I use? You know what? Maybe I'll use X's. Those make triangle shapes as well. Try and fit three X's in each of those sections that I made. Let's see, go all the way around. Oops, not perfect, but I'm doing my best work. Here we go. Almost done. There we go. And now I'm going to trace the line that I want to keep. There we go. Great. All right. So now my mandala is finished. So I'm going to get an eraser and erase my pencil lines, all the ones I don't want to keep, and I'm ready to add color. All right. So after, let's pretend I erased all my pencil lines. I'm ready to add color. Here's one that I did earlier where I added color. You can see I did not uh, erase my black lines, but I kind of like it when it has the dark lines. So it's up to you. I can't wait to see what yours look like when you're all finished.